Welcome to my new series of rum videos. I know for a lot of you, cocktails can be a little bit daunting, especially when you're talking about sort of five, six, seven ingredients. You simply don't want to invest in a whole load of spirits and liqueurs and purees and all that kind of faff that you're just going to use sparingly over the next sort of, your, sort of three to four months. But I also know some of you are looking for some of that little bit extra than your normal rum and coke and rum and ginger beer. Hey rum fans, I'm Steve the Barman and I invite you to join me every Saturday morning, early doors, as I churn out simple rum cocktails without the fuss. Right, so today for the first video, I've got three absolute belters for you. The recipes will be below in the description and these will be perfect if you just fancy a drink for yourself at home or if you run a pub, a bar, a mobile bar, whatever, if you make money off of your cocktails, these are gonna be perfect if you put them on your menu. So recipe one, your first cocktail, I'm going for a long daiquiri with a pineapple and star anise twist. I'm gonna put this to one side. That's tasty, so right, but wait, I'm not gonna talk about that. Today, I'm gonna to get patriotic about some uh, UK producers, if you like, UK distillers. We've got Lazy Dog Silver Rum that we kind of fe featured on a live show a few weeks back. We've got Stratford Sodas that we also featured on a live show a few weeks back. And although this is Canadian, I've got big love for these uh, pineapple and star anise bitters. So I'm going to talk a little bit about these, but I'm just going to get into the cocktail. It's obvious. It's obvious. We're not going to faff around. It is obvious. So uh, I'm going to do a 60 mil double bubble. And this is a nice sort of silver white rum Perfect for daiquiris, mojitos, all that kind of stuff. So a double bubble gone in there. I've got the, uh, the Stratford soda, uh, the citrus mixer, if you like. These are low sugar. Uh, the sugar comes from the fruit itself, not added sugar. Uh, but more importantly, for people like me, like not much gas. There is zero to any gas in these. And if you watch the live stream that I did, I just, I didn't burp once from doing all these tastings. These are great. So this citrus is essentially a long daiquiri. You just add rum. So we're gonna do that. We've done a 60 mil. Do you know what? These are easy going drinks. I'm gonna add the whole bottle. Why flipping not? There we go, 200 mil bottle in there. Uh, and then uh, these bitters. Now to talk about this, the soda for two seconds, you know, face value, there'll be link, there, let's say there's links to this, all the recipes in the, in the description below. Face value, these might look expensive. However, these are small, is literally Katie and Dan. That is it, they're, they're a two person company, you know, producing these mixes. So until the point they get massive distribution and that they grow, and they will grow, because these are phenomenal, you know, you're gonna have to expect to pay a little bit more. Now I know a few of you are gonna be tight and go, oh, well I could get a can of a can of Coke for 30p or whatever, you know, but pay attention to some of these mixers because they are belting. So that's the citrus mixer. Now to talk about these bitters, these are Miss Betters bitters, Canadian brand actually, uh, a lot of love for them, pineapple and star anise. And I'm gonna put that much of a pipette in there, okay? So you can see, sort of see that. Now, squeeze that in. I'm just going to talk about prices just very, very quickly because I think we need to sort of do, um, talk about that uh, to help you kind of think. You think, well, I'm not going to invest in bitters. Why should I invest in bitters? Now, uh, bitters, especially the alcoholic ones, they are long life. They are shelf stable. Now, I'm not going to lie. They're quite expensive. 20, say 25 pounds. Whatever your buying deal is, 25 pounds. What I've just put in my cocktail will cost me roughly 60p. All right, so that's probably that little pipette that I've put in there is roughly 60p. And again, you might think that's quite expensive. But when you look at liqueurs and stuff like that, you're going to be a liqueur for, say, 18 pounds, 25 mil is going to be roughly about the same as one of those dashes. So, you know, if you're a pub or bar and you want to make money out of these, you have to, you know, you, you don't think they're like 5p, 10p or anything. They do cost money. Of course they do. But they do last a long time. They never go off and they do add that touch of flavour to your cocktails. So I'm a big fan of bitters with the star anise, which is going to get that sort of lovely flavour coming through there. But the extra hint of pineapple. We're just going to stir that through nice and cool. I'm just going to garnish that with a whole flipping mint tree and uh, a dehydrated lemon. As I say, cocktails without the faff. They don't need to get any more technical than that. What's that taste like? That is perfect. 
for a long, hot summer day. Daiquiris inherently are like that big. You just, you just churn through them. A long daiquiri like that with the little twist of pineapple, the little twist of sort of star anise coming through there. You know, it's not pineapple forward. That is just glorious. So that is my first cocktail for you. Long, uh, long daiquiri with a pineapple and star anise twist. Now for cocktail two, look, you might be looking at this thinking this is a lazy dog and a, St a Stratford soda and a misbetted bit is love in. And the first two are, I'm, look, the, these cocktails are going to go in all kind of different directions over the next few weeks. So don't think I'm just focusing on these. Uh, but we did discover this on a live stream a few weeks ago. And it blew me away. I, I quite openly said that is possibly the best highball I've ever tasted in that time. But a rum cocktail, if you like. Um, so I've just been kind of playing about with it since. And this is delicious. So we've got Lazy Dog's Slow Rum. This is delicious. It is rum forward, but slow. Uh, if you like slow gin, pff, get, you know, get rid of your gin. Jesus Christ, that is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Check my Discord community out. They will back me up. They absolutely fell in love with it. In fact, it was them that got it before me. Um, so that's not me being biased. That's amazing. We found that the hedgerow um, Stratford soda, mixing that with that. It, it's got blackcurrant in there for colouring, uh, but it is a rose and blackberry kind of soda. It's quite, it's, it's quite tart, but we found that mixing it with a slight, I wouldn't say sweet rum, but a rum with a little bit of flavour just gets rid of that tartness and it's absolutely delicious. Now, uh, and I should have mentioned this in the first cocktail, I have got some bitters here. These are strawberry and marquan. Marquan is um, sort of a Szechuan pepper, if that's the right way to describe it. Has got orange notes to it. Um, but it's just got that little bit of pepperiness. You don't have to worry about the bitters. You didn't have to worry about the bitters in the first one. But the pineapple did give it that twist. You don't have to. You can just go that and that is a phenomenal highball. Put that on your menu and you are going to make a shed load of cash if you're a pub or bar. If you're having a party, you're going to end up with a load of fans. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a 60 mil double bubble. Because 60 mil is better than 50 mil, right? Look at the colour of that. That is absolutely flipping phenomenal. We are then going to do, um, just top it up with your... Um, your Stratford soda, your hedgerow. This is gorgeous stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. These are they, these are primarily like citrus based, uh, but as I say, no gas, uh, little to no sugar. It's the sugar from the fruit that actually comes through in here, uh, and these are just flipping delicious. So we'll see how far we go with that. Nearly the whole bottle, uh, and then I'm going to add these bitters. Inspiration. That's all these bitters. I'm not saying this makes the cocktail. This is purely here. For inspiration to show you what you can and can't do with bitters there we go so strawberry mark one as i said that sort of peppery kind of thing again same if it's 25 quid a bottle that's costing you roughly 60p long life shelf stable haven't got the sweetness of sugar syrups but they do add that flavor to your drink so there we go that's just dumped in there let's just put that on there can you see i haven't used them for a while i'm just going to give that oh, the aromas the smell coming off that we're just going to give that a casual little stir. Uh, and then to garnish, again, I want to keep these as faff free as possible. You could go, and I might even do this for the thumbnail, you could go berries, like blueberries, blackberries, you know, raspberries, whatever. But for the contrast, just for me, I'm going for a little mint bush and then another one of my straws, just for simplicity. And that is phenomenal. You do just about get the subtle hint of that pepperiness coming off the bitter. The bitters kind of just add that little subtle direction. It's not full flavoured. You know, don't think that's going to replace 25 mil of a liqueur or anything like that. But just subtle in the background, just to give it a little flavour variance. That, that is banging. Cheers. Now for your third and final cocktail, uh, this is called the Jam Rock Punch. And this stems from one of my favourite kind of chain bars in the UK. Uh, it's called the Rum Kitchen and uh, you get them in London. There's one down in Brighton, which I go to more than anything else because I love down in Brighton. Uh, now this cocktail is traditionally, I think, I don't know the recipe for this, but I think it would be about six uh, ingredients in this. And as you can see, I've narrowed it down. I've made, I'm making a similar sort of style cocktail with three or four if you include the sort of wedge of lime in there again. Now, uh, so the Jamrock Punch, 
as I say, it is a lovely, lovely cocktail. Kind of nostalgia for me. It's kind of one of those fun and fruity drinks when I go out. But this is just showcasing that you can take these cocktails that are six, seven ingredients down to the bare minimum if you like. So we're going for the first ingredient, cane rock, uh, which is, we call it plantation spiced rum. It's not, it's Maison Ferrand. Maison Ferrand, the parent company of planta plantation. Um, but it is that lovely sort of Jamaican rum underneath, hints of coconut, hints of vanilla in there. It's absolutely delicious. So we're going for a 60 mil double bubble of this spiced rum in there. Tin, I'm just using a cocktail tin for this. You can use whatever you're flipping like. We've got uh, Levi, I love Levi Roots mixers, and these are going to feature heavily over the next sort of few months as well because I love them. I've got them all here. Uh, there'll be links again where you can get them online there. This is the Tropical Punch. This is pineapple and sweet mango. Now, I do think the Jam Rock is actually guava, but, you know, how many of you have got guava at home, let alone sort of pineapple juice or whatever? So we're just sort of slightly swapping it up, and we're just going to use a mixer that you can get quite easily online, because that's where that came from, online. If your local stores do it, your local spa shop, even better, but online. Smells absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to top that up in there. So we've got spiced rum. And this sort of, uh, what's going on in there? It's probably, these are what, 200 and, where are they? 500 mil, sorry, 200. 500 mil bottles. There's probably 200 mil gone in that tin can. Uh, the grenadine, I, I'm not overly convinced you need in this cocktail. You would do, because it's a red cocktail-ish. Uh, if you were serving it up, you would, um, in a glass, sorry, you probably want the redness. But for this, I'm going to add a bit, just for, just for stuff. Little drizzle, five, 10 mil of uh, grenadine in there. To garnish, I am going to garnish this up with a couple of squeezes of lime. That can be, I think you want a little bit of citrus in there. Hang on, let's just let's just stir this in. Just kind of give that a nice, kind of com combine the ingredients. There we go. And I'm just going to stir that in there. You can get Larry with the garnishes if you want, like pineapple wedge or whatever. I've actually got a passion fruit left over from a hen party at the weekend, so I'm going to go a bit of passion fruit and more mints because if you've got mint for one cocktail you've got enough mint for another cocktail isn't you right let's have a little taste that's flipping amazing three ingredients three or four of you include the lime that is flipping delicious 